Hey, YouTube. Okay. Uh, excuse the noise in the background. This is over, you know, usual, you know, kids making noises. Um, uh, my thoughts on Biomutant, and I'm going to link, not in the description or anything like that, but like, link in other games and where they went wrong, whereas this game went right, or vice versa. Um, uh, to be honest, if I was to give Biomutant a score out of 10, it's got to be at least an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Um, I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because there are issues, but I'm not a score person. I don't give games scores. Uh, I'm more of a like, is it good? Is it playable? Is it worth your money? Um, there they are. You fixed those flame flies fast. When it comes to open world adventuring, role playing, that sort of stuff, it's 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 a it's a good buy. Um, to get the comparisons out of the way, the absolute scummy company CDPR, which you're currently uh, going through the courts with their class action with the investors, which to be honest, they sh the whole CDPR should be taken to court over defrauding the entire customer base, and they should all be thrown in prison, but Apparently they can get away with that, but yeah, that's getting off topic, that's not what I'm here for. Um, they're going, oh, you can't expect it to be that good because, you know, open world, it's hard to do and stuff like that. But yet, this game is just a massive open world, and it has nowhere near as many issues. I've had no crashes, and I've had a couple of uh, mission bugs out, you know, like, um, I had the quest for, let me, uh, let me just check, journal, uh, something to do with bandits, Let's see if I can find it, I can't remember what it was called. It's on one of my previous videos, so if worst comes to worse, it's there. It's something to do with bandits. Uh, right something to do with bandits. Uh, you have to destroy, I think it's eight or twelve bandit camps, something like that. I got like halfway through it, and it's like, oh, you've completed this bandit camp, no more. Uh, those kind of bugs uh, didn't didn't pop up the, the thing going, um, congratulations, you've completed this bandit camp. Here's the next one. It's gone. Congratulations, you've beat this bandit camp, but you've got to still beat this bandit camp. Uh, so it's telling me to defeat the bandit camp I just defeated. Um, Fairly easy bug fix, I'm assuming. But look, if you bring up the map, I am currently there in the centre of the map. If I was to go out, you start down here. Uh, X spot, I believe, is where you came in, and then you choose between that camp and that camp. Uh, that one there's got a staff as a weapon, and they are against the tree of life. They reckon you need to cleanse the world to, to fix it. Um, this one here has a boomerang, and they're for the tree of life. They want to bring everyone together to make the world better. So that's your initial choice, and the rest of it's like, go explore. Um... You don't have to do any particular missions. You don't have to do any quests. You, you can literally just go. And, I like. Oh, I don't. Know. I just went out and explored. If I found a quest along the way, and I could do it relatively easily, I'd done it. If I couldn't, then I'd go back to it later. Um, 
a quick little tidbit tips. These things here, you can see the little nut there at the bottom. Um, if you roll through them or uh, dodge through them, or oh, I'm stuck on. Uh, this is some of the issues that you have where you get stuck on stuff. But if you like run and then go through it like that, uh, pressing on the PlayStation Circle, so it's like a dodge. Um, you can grab the little nut. Those are what you need to grab your, um, let's say pets, mounts, what do you call them? Um, the other ones, like I grabbed over here. Oh, where is it? Uh, it was on the island over there. It was a little circle tree thing. It had the little leaf. That's uh, basically money. Uh, that one you just jump through it. Um, these things, um, I've already used this one, so I can't do it again, but you walk up, you just activate it, it's a sight point, so it, it increases, these things here, if you want to get yourself one of these as a pet, you need to get the right nut, or the right seed, um, uh, graphically, I'm on the base PS4, graphically it's fine. Frame rates, it's fine. Gameplay, it's fine. It's like, um, world size, it's way bigger in my opinion than Cyberpunk is, um, and has a billion percent less issues. Um, without bagging on Turd City PR, um, if you wanted uh, Cyberpunk 2077, like I did, get this game. It is... Yeah, it's not Cyberpunk, but it is so close to being what I was expecting. Nothing. And not, not hoping and not um, hyping for... Because I wasn't on the hype train for Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, like, I was like, well, this game is what I want. So let's have to deliver it. Uh, it comes out. It's the... The developers hid or walled off all the content that they promised and expected us to take it. It's like they can get stuffed. Um, I hope the company goes under. Um, this company has, from all the information I've read and heard, there's somewhere between 15 and 25 people working on it. It's a really small team, and it is so it is leaps and bounds better than 90% of the games out there that have thousands of people working on it. Because um, Cyberpunk, you're looking at hundreds, close to a thousand people worked on that game. And I'm sorry, like I don't want to bag on the, like, the cleaners and stuff, but you're working for that company. You allowed them to do what they've done. It's like, no sympathy. It's like, it's a scummy company. This company, nothing but praises right now. It's like, they're listening to the gamers. If you've got a complaint or a suggestion, they are willing to listen. Um, they have made this statement that they are working on bugs, uh, performances, and stuff like that right now. Um, they made statements like multiplayer not planned, um, this not planned, that not planned. But if they get enough suggestions, for example, if everybody. Uh, that little study you just saw there, that, that is probably the worst kind of thing that happens in this mm -hmm. game. But as I was saying, yeah, if, if everybody who bought the game turns around and says, can we get a co-op mode? Not multiplayer. Co-op. So I'll be playing, and I can set it to co-op on, and a friend of mine who owns the game can join my game and help me. That would be ideal. Um, if it was me and I was to make this game... Uh, in brackets, better or um, ideal for me. Um, there'd be a few things I would change. Um, more customization on the the character front. So the critter is really nicely uh, created, um, but I might want a taller character, and not necessarily a different breed or a different ability, but just a taller character. Or I might want it uh, skinnier or fatter. Those kind of things that aren't 
aren't ability related, but are a, a look thing. Like obviously, if your character is like, you wouldn't be a too tall or too short because then certain objects you'd be banging into. But things like weight, if you make your character skinnier, you can make it a faster character. If you make it fatter, uh, make it slower. Something like that. I don't know. Um, I would also yeah, make some sort of. I want to say like base camp or home base, which is customizable. That would be really cool. Um, I don't know what you do with these things. Like I've been grabbing them left, right, and center. Um, so picture a your original home camp, like um, where you have your flashbacks when you were as a kid and stuff like that. If you could fix that back up and not necessarily really customize it, but decorate it. So, for example, all these things I'm grabbing on the ground, those animals, if I can put them in the fields, or um, find certain pieces of clothing, put on mannequins in my house, or something like that. That is what I'll do there. Um, the whole swimming situation, I would seriously change that, because that is super friggin... I can full-on sprint across the map, from north side to south side, and everything like that. I step in that much water, and my character struggles. And that the your energy drains super quick. Like if I'm draining that quickly in water, look how quick it drains. Top left hand corner. It's not even that deep. Then I should be draining when I'm sprinting. But because I'm not draining when I'm sprinting, I shouldn't be draining when I'm swimming. Um, that is like super annoying. If they want to make it so it's a game mechanic where you've got to like avoid water, then make C move slower, like way slow or something like that. But let us swim, please. Um, that's one thing I would change. Um, there's not a lot of like, issues I have. Like seriously, like, the game itself runs well. Like it's no, there's no. Uh, there's no 120 frames a second uh, HD or anything like that, but I have just no issues with looks, no issues with performance. Um, I do have a little bit of a gripe with the way some of the clothing sits on the character, but it's like that's all petty stuff. It's like. Um, I'm better off showing you. One dead, I think they are. Um, loot, I believe they said they're fixing in the next update, which PC already got. Because I'm getting sick and tired of getting lollies, basically, off these big guys. I want armor pieces or weapons. Give us a sec. Yeah, so I want armor pieces, clothing, um, loot, not just lollies. Um, but as I was saying, like with the clothing, like if you look at the character, um, like the front of the skirt, they see the fur poking through the front of the character on the skirt, that kind of stuff. But it's I can I can put up with it. It's, there's no issues with it. It's just that it's the little things I have to pick on. The game is that I want to say polished, but I don't think it's called it polished. It's more like well thought out and well detailed that you have to pick on the little things. Um, getting stuck in environments is a big issue. Do not ask me how they would fix it. Um, I showed it in my previous video. Um, if you go to like debris like over here, let's um, see if we can find one. Uh, this hole here a little bit? No. no I'm not going to find one here, am I? But you'll get stuck between two rocks. Like I did with the lamppost and the bush thing earlier. That kind of thing. That happens fairly regular. Um, it's not great game breaking. It's just annoying. Uh, I can hear it but I can't see it. It's making a noise. Um, the world is a really nice world. Um, if I was to make a complaint about the world... Um, I've really got to go digging here, but 
when you come across a vehicle, it's almost always... Like, for example, this is a red station wagon. You'll see this exact same red station wagon with the exact same leaves, exact same rock piles, and everything around it multiple times. You'll see that heaps. That's that's the only real gripe for about the world. Certain things you see repeatedly. It's, it's obviously a copy and paste type situation. But if there's only, we'll say, 20 people working on the game, and the game world is this big, and this detailed, it's like, I do not care. Don't even bother trying to fix if, if, if you want to make an attempt at fixing the situation, um, in my opinion, the way you'd fix it would put a, um, a randomizing switch on it and make it uh, the color, make that randomize, and the vines, like there's what, three different vines, put them on a randomizer so that you, instead of coming across another red one that's going to three vines, um, or whatever you call that, ivy, um, you come across a blue wagon that's only got two, or a white one that's got one, or something like that. That that would be the fix for the situation in, in the environment. Um, gameplay, combat, it, it's all solid. It's um, I do wish... Bye bye fluffy rat thingy down the river you go. Um, I do wish that um, there is a whole um, press one button for melee, press another one for shoot, press another one for abilities, but there's no button to like manually uh, like bring up your like iron sights or your, your manual targets. There's no, from what I can gather, there is no way to do that. There's like you cannot. Uh, so I like to play as like a sniper in like Grand Theft Auto, so I'm, I'm on the sniper side. So I would like to go left trigger and bring up my weapons and aim down sights. But you cannot do that. Um, see, we've got a sedan. Again, you'll see the same sedan multiple times. Again, sorry about the background noise. Um, most, mostly you'll see them, it'll be all like a white sedan. One ivy, a couple of rocks. Um, I know here's a slight difference, but it's yellow. But as you see, it's got the ivy on the that side. It's got the ivy on that side. So they do change the colour, just randomise the ivies. Um, but as you can see, those two are the, the exact same. The damages are in the exact same spot. Like that, that that is the only. Uh, it's it's super petty, but it's the only thing that's environmentally noticeable that is an issue um, so when that is the biggest problem is repeating assets it's like you're on a, you're on a winner um, uh, enterable buildings and stuff like that they are really good like there's not been many buildings I've come across this oh, I want to get inside that building but I can't um, there's enough to be noticeable but not enough to go oh this game sucks because I can't get into that building. Um, it would be really nice too that if, like, for example, this area here, um, as you can see, like the the thing's gone because I've already been here and I've taken it. Um, maybe not so much with these, which are your bio points, but just loot in general. If it had a, there's that stutter again, but. Um, if the loot over a certain length of time would replenish and the enemies would re uh, replenish, that would be super helpful. Because um, if you, for example, played this area like I have, and there was just, say, four enemies here, and I've defeated the enemies, grabbed the loot, and ran off. But then, in-game, two weeks later, I come back, there's still no enemies here. Have them, have them respawn. Because um, as you can see, there's no enemies here. I'm pretty sure there were enemies here when I came here last time. So, like, have the, have them... Re even if it's a really long respawn timer, have them respawn. That would be cool. Um, not necessarily in all locations, and not necessarily all the enemies, but have at least some enemies respawn. would be cool. Um, the character itself... 
Uh, where are we? Um, there, there's my critter. Um, I do kind of wish, for example, that skirt. I want to make it a blue skirt. Um, I wish there was some way I could do that. Um, same with, uh, like for example, the weapons. Uh, if I grab a, if I craft, for example, uh, where are we there? We'll choose there. And for example, if I want that weapon there, but I want the exact same ability it's got and its stats, but I want it to look different, uh, transmogify, I think they call it in a lot of games. Something to do with that would be nice. So if I wanted to look more like that weapon, but have the abilities of that weapon, that would be cool. Um, again, there is nothing wrong with the way they're doing it now. Uh, it's just that sometimes, like some games, um, you'll get Destiny was bad for it. So um, Cyberpunk, the version of that that they released, the non-full version, the, 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 the fraudulent... Um, scumbaggy version of cyberpunk that was released you'd find a, a clothing item the ones that you that looked nice to you had crap stats whereas the ones that had good stats looked like absolute crud um, and that's a situation that's similar to what happens in this game you'll find like if I go into my inventory for example and go to uh, What's a good example? Range parts. We're going there. Um, let's have a look. See what have we got here. See if I can find a good example. Um, that stock. It's got a ten on accuracy, but it looks like. Let's face it. Looks like a worn sock. Uh, whereas if I go to say like that one, or. Uh, Find a good one in here. That stock, that looks a lot better. Um, that's a bad example because it's got better, better stats. Oh, here's a good example. Uh, there's a good example. That stock right there, the wooden one. It's just a standard wooden stock. And then the one I showed a minute ago, uh, that one, doesn't look as good in my opinion. But yeah, it's got way better stats when it comes to the, like the damage. Uh, so if I could make the one that has the better stats look like that one, that would be cool. But it's like, it's a, it's a wish list. Uh, it's the same with the clothing. Like, ideally, I'd like to have, just have, for example, the skirt to be blue instead of yellow. Um, how they would do it, I'm not sure, like, make it a, a modification, and maybe you've got to collect, I don't know, some sort of oils or something to make it, I don't know. But that that would be super, super, super cool. Um, I'm not exactly doing this story, because I'm not a big story fan. Um, and so when people go, oh, but Cyberpunk's got a great story, so... Um, there's no way in the God's Green Earth I'm getting into Cyberpunk's story if the game itself is not the game they promised and the game that I bought. Um, so unless you correct the world and the gameplay and that sort of stuff, the story means jack shit. So... Me, being a non-story person, I'm fine with this game the story so far has been not bad. Um, if I bring up the, the thing, as you can see, if I go all the way to the right, there's an arc. It's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure style of who will who will you take with you. Um, I do believe choosing certain people will give you different, in brackets, outcomes. But it's not like as if you're going to get a good good ending or a bad end, ending because you chose one person instead of another person. Um, let's see what else 
can I talk about? Um, waypoints. It'd be cool if I could have multiple waypoints put down and choose colours for them or something like that. So that I can go, okay, there's a point of interest over there and there's a point of interest over there, just say. Uh, like, for example, I think... I think that one's actually marking a location where I need a key, but I can't find the key. No. Anyway, there was a um, there was a, a building I couldn't get into because I needed a yellow key. I couldn't find the yellow key, so I, I placed a waypoint to remind myself to go back here, try and get the yellow key. Um, but then something else happened. I need to put another waypoint, and I think that's what's happened there. That's why it's marked over there. Um, so if I could have left the original one there and put it under colour yellow, for example, and then have the new one be red, that would be cool. Even if it's only like three or four different markers, that would be super handy. Uh, Jade made a good point, like the little glider that you just seen pop out. Um, it's, the glider is fine. The glider glides sort of how it should but if you get for example the the bat he's talking about there's a flying pet uh, the flying mount um, apparently it only glides as well it doesn't it can't actually fly it's like change that if it's a flying creature you should better fly indefinitely with it give it a stamina bar or something like that so you can fly for a certain length of time before it gets tired and you have to take a break that's fine but don't make it just the same glide as the glider um, same with the brief case, which I actually believe I have. Uh, where are we? Gear. It's backpacks, I believe. If I go to back, there it is. That bag has a, a, a fly ability or glide ability. It's exactly the same gliding as that little glider that. Uh, that little grasshopper, you can hardly see him. That little grasshopper there on the ground, your automaton or whatever they call it, um, the gliding it does is exactly the same as the suitcase, it's exactly the same as the bats, exactly, it's like, no, change that. A flying creature can fly, let it fly. A glider glides. A, um, a magic suitcase, maybe it can glide twice as far as the little grasshopper guy. Which my add you can get skins for. Uh, I keep going to there instead of there. So as you can see, if I go to uh, Tom and on, um, the functions I've unlocked all the functions, so I, I can't do any more with him with that. But if you get appearance, you can change what he looks like. I've found f uh, two. As I said, there's the original. That's what he originally looks like. That's the one I'm, I currently got on, and that's the other one I found. So you can customization is quite good. Um, but as I was saying earlier, like I do wish there were some that weren't necessarily influenced by your abilities and stuff like that. So like your height or your weight or um, that sort of stuff. Because ideally, I would like my character to be a little bit taller, and if you look how wide like the legs look like they are, I want to narrow them a little bit. Other than that, because the character looks, in my opinion, it's silhouette, uh, silhouette as you look at it from, oh, you can't really see it because of the, it looks almost like a, a square. I would like a little bit more, like more of a shape to it. But uh, it's just one of my little gripes. Um, I am a little unhappy that the tail is the kind of tail it is, but I believe that's the breed. I believe different breeds have different types of tails. Um, and same with the eye patch. I know it's it's a part of the story, but I really wish I could get rid of the eye patch and have just two normal eyes. Um, if you don't I haven't played the game, the story references a what do they call it a prophecy of a scarred civilian, a scarred person or scarred critter 
that will bring salvation to the world, basically. Um, and the eye patch is referencing the scar, which is you're obviously you're either got a scarred eye or a missing eye or something like that. But it's like I really wish I could have two eyes, you know, like looks wise. Um, the little dots, as you can see, that little dot there. Um, I've had a couple of situations where they were there, and I get close to the item. Um, see how it says interact. Um, this is going. I'm going to pump iron here, um, but I've had issues where I'd walk up to it, the interact wouldn't pop up, and you just go like turn around like this, and all of a sudden the interact pops up. It's but it's super minor bug. It's like nothing major. So I'll pump some iron. Get the rhythm going well. Um, arm, then the other. Missed opportunity here, by the way. There's I found a few of these, and there's literally nothing I do here. It's like I watch a cutscene. Pumping good. Mini game. Better. Have a quick time event or something like that to do it. So you get a, I know, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger at the right timing, and you get a, a bonus, something like that. That'd be cool. Um, like the render distance, like you can see quite far away. Um, there they lighting's, are. Now, lighting's good. Uh, I think I spoke before how my abilities, I've got radiation and uh, biohazard maxed out. But I've purposely not maxed out my cold and hot. Because I want to better make it so that I've got to go into my, oh, I keep doing that one. I've got to go into my gear to um, counter for that. So as you can see, like uh, the hot and the colds, they're at what? We'll say 60 plus percent. If I go to my outfits and I select just say that one, they're all at 100. So that outfit there fills in the extra. So I'm, I'm maxed out on that aspects. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure on what the um, the final icon there is. I think it's something to do with the mutation. Um, It looks more like a moon, so I'm thinking maybe some little lunar, or I don't know. Um, I'm no expert at the game, so if you want to find somebody who's a like hardcore bio mutant tutorial guy, and they can tell you exactly what all this stuff does, then go ahead, watch them. Um, but this is me just talking about what I wish the game would fix, what's great about the game, what's bad about the game, um, and if I was to put it in a little list. What's good about the game? Almost everything. What's bad about the game? Almost nothing. Um, the um, melee and rifle thingy, I wish you could have as the same attack. So it would be right trigger, for example. But instead of... Um, I'll let you reload. I'm pressing L1. My L1 button stuffed, probably. Um, I was saying, yeah, yeah, with the with the weapons. I wish you could kind of, I don't know, maybe like in, instead of being one button for shoot, one button for melee, have it say. It's shoot, and then you can tap a button to switch from shoot to melee, and use the same attack for the melee. <coughs> but it's like, you, you can live with it. Um, so here, here's the hatchback uh, sedan again. As you can see, it's white. One, one ivy. Again, it's like, unless you're really petty, it's like, that is not an issue. But it would be nice to occasionally find one that has, like, for example, no ivy. That is, say, less damage or something like that. That would be cool, but it's like... Expectations and wishes. Oh, there's blue lightning over there somewhere. Um, I do like the fact that when you're running, you get down on all four. Um, a lot of people I've spoken to that play the game like the fact that that happens as well. Um, 
rain effects uh, on the world and all that, they're quite nice. There is a slight issue with the characters. Um, they look a little too shiny, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't know whether you can see it. I just want to see it on the tail. Like, wet fur and plastic, uh, they look completely different. Um, and the tail there looks a, bit, a little, little bit too close to plastic instead of wet fur. But it's like, how petty are you going to be? To that's, that's the sort of crap I've got to point out. That's how good the game is. That That is the crap I have to point out. If I was to pick problems with the game. The fact that the cars spawn. And, oh, I saw that car down the road five minutes ago. And that the fur looks more like plastic than fur when it's wet. It's like... So... Any other game developers that have more than 50 people working on it? Before you start bragging about... This is aimed directly at CDPR as well. Before you start bragging about your game or going, our game is awesome and everyone's going to love it, but we're not going to deliver the correct product, look at a game like Fire Mutant and use that as your reference. If it is to the not, not to the same standards as Biomutant, either do not release it, or put a notice in saying, this game is not this, it is this, and tell us factual information about it. So, if I was to give you a factual information about Biomutant, it is, it's an open-world adventure, role-playing game with a customizable critter and customizable gameplay in a beautiful open-world environment. That would be a factual description of this game. If I was to describe Cyberpunk 2077, it would be along the lines of the game is lies, false, false, um, falsified information, it is not a role-playing game. It is not uncensored. It is not deep, meaningful gameplay. It is not mature gameplay. It is kind of open world. That would be the factual description side of Punk. Um, and if I was, to, for example, the last six, 12 months, five games to definitely buy and give a try, Buy Mutant is right at the top. Um, Watch Dogs Legion is high up there. Um, uh, I can't say Dreams because it's only on the PlayStation, but Dreams, if you're a creator and you got a PlayStation, Dreams. Get Dreams. Dreams are a really cool game. Um, Minecraft is still high up on there. It is still a really good game. Um, Saints Row. Grand Theft Auto, those kind of games, uh, they're pretty good. Um, if you were to choose between Grand Theft Auto and Saints Row, me personally, I would choose Saints Row. But Grand Theft Auto has a big gamer base, so if you're looking for a social game where you can play socially, Grand Theft Auto, because you can have you know the 30 per lobby on the PS4. Xbox, stuff like that. Um, 360 and PS3, it's, I believe it's still the, the, what was it, 15? Um, Saints Row only has the two player. Basically, you and a friend, or you and a stranger. Um, Watch Dogs Legion has four, so you and three friends or three strangers. And a lot of people say, oh, this is enough, this is enough. It, it's fine. In my opinion, that's fine. If anything, Maybe add an extra two spots, but other than that, is more than enough. Um, is Watch Dogs Legion better than uh, Grand Theft Auto? In my opinion, yes. Um, for multiple reasons. Um, for one, it's set in England, so you're driving the proper side of the road. Uh, and two, they're not shoving shark cards down your throat every five seconds. Um, like if you're on Grand Theft Auto, and for example, you go to pick a prostitute up, or you get a vending machine, and you want to get a coke can, uh, can of coke out of the machine. You've got no cash on you, 
but you've got millions of dollars in the bank. It does, the game doesn't go, would you like to take money out of your bank to buy this can of coke? It's, would you like to buy a shark card? And that's the reason why Watch Dogs Legion is better than Grand Theft Auto. Um, and when I compare, for example, open world adventure roleplay games, if I was to go, for example, with... We'll choose Fallout 76. Actually, no, we won't go Fallout 76, so it's multiplayer. Fallout 4, Biomutant, and then Cyberpunk. Um, Biomutant, you're not a human character. So that's a little, you know, on that side. But open world, it's, it's so open, it's not funny. And no load times, majority of the time. It is, in my opinion, as load free as Cyberpunk claimed it would be. Um, it's a bigger world than Cyberpunk. More polished world than Cyberpunk. And there's no lies in this game, whereas Cyberpunk's just, just full of them. Um, so I would have to, I'd have to say this would be... It's hard to, it's hard to say, because Fallout 4 has the camp system, which I absolutely loved, and you're a human character. But... This one here has a more lush world, a cooler world. Um, it's less bland than the Fallout worlds. And then Cyberpunk is like, do not bother. Like, seriously, anyone who considers anything from CDPR, are, I'm going to be blunt about it, are absolute dickheads. Do not buy anything from CDPR ever again. Um, I'm never buying any of their products. Um, and I'm encouraging, like I just said, encouraging everybody never to do the same thing again. Um, and with the fact that a lot of the developers are leaving CDPR, it's rats leaving a ship, um, sinking ship. It's like, from now on, whenever I go to buy a game, I have to check the developer and make sure that did not work at CDPR. Because if a game comes out and it's got a developer from CDPR on it, I'm going to go, well... I'm seriously going to like back away from that game real slowly and keep my eye on it. Because the scummy company has released a product that bad that it's like... It's a cancerous spot on the gaming industry. Like It is disgusting that that, that company has gotten away with what they've done. And they're still getting away with it. Um, yes, they're going through a court case right now, lawsuit uh, about their, uh, the investors. But what about how many copies did they sell? 13 something, uh, 30 something mil or something like that copies in the first like initial thing. And then since then it's been under a million copies. It's got good. I hope their company goes under. Um, I've never wished a company to go under before. Um, like EA, I've never wished them to go under. Um, but CDPR, I hope they go bankrupt and go under. Um, and people go, oh my god, it's so hateful, it's so hateful. Well, they have defrauded millions of people. And they've gotten away with it. With a falsified product. Um, they deserve to be thrown in prison, to be honest. Um, and people go, oh, but it's not so-and-so. So it's not Bob who worked on programming. So well, hang on. If Bob knew the company was doing this fraudulent action and allowed it to happen without informing the authorities, isn't, isn't that what they call aiding and abetting? Or, um... Some, uh, there, were, there were technical terms for it, like they, they were assisting in the crime. So, like, no sympathy. It's like, if they um, spoke out, got in touch with the Polish government, said this company is falsifying their claims, this company is releasing a uh, fraudulent product and action was taken, then I would have praised them, but they didn't. They sat there and allowed the company to do it. And if anyone's wondering why I keep going on about this and hasn't seen any of my cyberpunk videos, quick rundown is they promised a mature, uncensored roleplay open world um, game. And the only part of that we got sort of, was the open world. Um, there's next to no RPG elements. It is censored. 
Um, they say it's still uncensored, but it's not. It's even if you turn the uncensored mode on, it is still censored. Um, and I got in touch with them and said, "Excuse me." Um, and then months. I'm not talking about like one or two months. I'm talking like five months later. I finally got a reply from the PR department, uh, which is public relations for anyone who doesn't know. Um, so it wasn't even from the developers or anything like that. It was from the public relations saying, I got an email saying, yeah, yeah, we know the game is in the incorrect state. We do not intend on fixing it. If you do not like it, buy the PC version and let the modders deliver the correct product. So they, they, they admitted to defrauding the entire customer base. And if the entire customer base wants to get the correct product, don't expect it from them because they do not plan on delivering it. Get the modders to deliver it for them on PC. So people who do not have a PC that can run the game, or me, for example, I refuse to use Steam and sure as hell ain't touching GOG with a barge pole. Um, if I got a free copy of um, uh, Cyberpunk, because I sure as hell ain't buying a copy, um, I've got nothing to play it on. So it's like... Criminal actions much? Um, well, that, that, that was the quick rundown of what the whole CDPR thing's all about. Um, whereas with this game, everything they promised... Cool little critter, Cust uh, you can customize your weapons, customize your weapon. everything they promise is in here. Um, no performance isn't, as I was saying, 120 FPS at 4K resolution. Um, but me being on the base PS4, 15 to 30 frames per second is fine. At the standard resolutions that every other game plays on is fine. Um, and I've had no issues. Um, the whole potato characters you get in TDPR's games when you uh, punk, when you walk up to them and they look like they made a potato. I have never had that in this game. Um, the worst looking thing I can find excuse me, would be maybe the wreckages and stuff on the right. Sometimes they look a little like, I wouldn't say Play-Doh, but like for example, if I come, I just like, I think I'll find a body, now it's a body. Um, let's pick up their junk. Um, I, uh, that's rocks. But you'll find like garbage bags and stuff on the right. Sometimes you find them and you're looking and you go, oh, that looks a little odd. But that's it. You do not get potatoes. You do not get your, your plasticine or play-doh or whatever you call it. It's it's always relatively Yeah, like there. See it looks like you just deformed ground textured. You're looking and you go, well, that's a little odd. It's like Fallout 4 have been doing it for years. Ah, uh, sorry, Fallout games in general, but says they've been doing it for years. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's optimizations that will prevent the console from lagging out half the time. And I'm okay with that. Um, so there's my thoughts on um, Biohazard. So, Biohazard. Biomutant. Um, I've watched a couple of videos about the Resident Evil Village. It's like... So not interested, man. Where's Umbrella? Where's Chris? Where's Jill? Where's Where's Claire? Where, where's all my Resident Evil? It's not, there's none of that in there. It's some um, Ethan Hawke, um, Black Hole Theory guy. I don't know. Walking around in a what is it, a freaking Hicks house? It's like I don't care about that. I want Resident Evil. Um, graphically, from what I've seen of it, it looks okay. Um, it's it's not the graphics I was interested in. It was the the style of gameplay. You know, zombies, a town, a village. Uh, hence the name village. It's like where's the village? If you're just literally walking around a mansion, 
and stuff like that. It's like, how's that a village? It's, it's a mansion or a castle or whatever happens to be at the time. Don't call it village if there's no village. Um, and you watch. All, all the people have actually played it. Oh, there is a fucking village, can Um... Is it like Resident Evil 4 when you first, as Leon, walk into that first little town? Is it that? No. It's... Same, same it was not just Village, it's the one before it as well. Um, where you literally they shove you in this old, old town... Wagon. I want to call it a mansion, but it's not even a mansion. It's a cottage. Um, narrow hallways... And the clips I've seen do not impress me because, like, when you're fighting a guy and you're putting, like, 20 shotguns into his face, shotgun shells into his face, and, like, his face isn't flying off, but it's just, like, putting blood marks on his face, like, how is it supposed to impress me? Where's the bang, his head pops off, and then that's it, fight over. That's the kind of crap I want. Is the place to um, be, obviously. So yeah, um, Bio Mutant, um, if you're looking for an open world, free roaming, adventuring, role play game, uh, very minimal load screens, um, get it. Um, even if it's a full price, like, I think I've paid 80 bucks for mine. Um, even if it was a hundred bucks, I would still say buy it. Um, games like Cyberpunk, if it's, if it's, if it's two cents, do not buy it. Um, Watch Dogs The Legion. <sighs> Me personally think, maybe not quite a hundred bucks. I did pay the hundred bucks, so I got the season pass and all that. But there they are. Now it's them. not GTA, you know, thirty people in a lobby. It's four people. Um but the gameplay and all of that is it's more of a I wanna say down to earth game when it comes to gameplay than Grand Theft Auto, which is refreshing and enjoyable. And to boot you drive on the proper side of the road. Right hand drive cars, stick on the left hand lane, that sort of stuff. Um a lot of people right now are going, oh my god, oh my god, this Bloodline DLC is coming out. And I, was like, I don't care about the Bloodline DLC. Um, give me some more cars. Give me some more outfits. Um, some more abilities. Um, a really nice apartment that you can modify in some way would be really nice in the game as well. So you don't have to go to the subway station safe house. Um, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking forward to in Watch Dogs. Um... So yeah, there, there's there's my thoughts on Bio Mutant. Um, there's some of my thoughts on some of the other games out there as well. Um, best game of the last six six to twelve months. Bio Mutant is pretty close to it. Worst game. Cyberpunk 27. Hey, Cyberpunk 27. If you got the the worst thing you could think of. Um, a Nazi soldier burning puppies in front of old ladies while kicking the old ladies off the bus. That, that's, that's a pretty bad thing to think of. What CDPR done with Cyberpunk and what they've done to the customers over Cyberpunk and what Cyberpunk's condition is like, that is worse than that thought. Um, so... If you've got the money, go by Bio Mutant. Um, if you're not into a big open worlds adventuring style games, look into it. Um, I've, I've showed you a little bit of gameplay. Um, watch some streamers, watch some YouTube videos, and like that. Get more information. But yeah, I would recommend it. Um, same with Watch Dogs. I recommend Watch Dogs. But again, don't just take my word for it, don't just go out and buy it. 
look at some footage. I've got a few videos up on Watch Dogs because it does have issues. Um, but if you can get it, especially if it's on sale, 25, 50% off, good deal. Um, full price, look into it first. Same with Biomint. If it's full price, watch some videos. Um, but yeah. The only games I would say stay away from, like The Plague, is Cyberpunk. Um, and the games I would say, if you've got the money, because times are hard. If you've got the money, buy. Buy a Mutant, Watch Dogs, and Dreams. Dreams is only on PlayStation 4. Um, I believe you can play backwards compatibly on PlayStation 5. But why would you buy a PS5 when Sony can't even fix the PS4? Um, but there, there's, there's my picks. Um, if you have a PS4 or a PS5 and you have a spare, I believe the full price is like 60 bucks. Um, so in America, that would be rough guess. I'm going to say about 45 bucks. Um, highly recommended. Um, if you're not a creator, you don't have to create. Um, I, I do streams every Thursday, my time. Um, it's Thursday afternoons for me, so it could be early Thursday mornings for Americans. Um, I stream Dreams, um, so you can see the gameplay, you can see what you can do with it. Um, there you go. I'm going to go, I'm gonna take it easy. Uh, you guys take it easy, uh, stay safe, um, look after each other, um, you know, social distance, wash hands, wear masks, um, think of others before you do something, so, like, even if it's got nothing to do with, like, the virus, or anything like that, like, if you drive it, just driving a car, and, like, the whole road rage situation, stuff like that, don't, don't just cut people off or don't go oh yeah I've got the right away because I'm me is like think to yourself if I was the other person what would I hope I would do um that sort of stuff so there you go out of here take it easy see you next time